What's up cats? Welcome to part four of Snowboard Europe Road Trip. We don't know what we're doing. We don't know what we're doing. In the last video, we left you in Italy, and Joe was an absolute powerhouse and drove almost nine hours straight to Zermatt. Now keep in mind, almost all of our guesstimated driving times before starting this trip were completely wrong, because I couldn't spend a lot of time researching the details, and the boys didn't at all, so we were hit with a lot of surprises, like Dolomites being 12 resorts, and there's actually no cars allowed in Zermatt. So this trip is a trip of adjusting, like figuring out gas in the middle of nowhere and where to park, arriving in Zermatt. <laughs> so this brain was infected by devils. Driving through Italy on our way to Switzerland. <laughs> All right, let's go. So yes. Yeah. This hippie just drove nearly nine hours to Switzerland. It's about midnight. We've been traveling for about almost eight hours now, trying to get to Switzerland. And we're almost out of gas in the middle of fucking nowhere, Italy. And we've stopped at, what, three gas stations? And the pumps have not been accepting cards. Just trying to get gas. We don't know what these signs mean. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, jeez. Now he's getting frustrated. Like, why doesn't Italy want to sell us any gas? Yeah, it's pretty easy to get gas in America. Right, like, so easy. We're pumping, baby! We're pumping! <laughs> Pump that gas! Choo! I got another 20. <laughs> well, we got a reset. <laughs> We're freaking doing it, Mom! <laughs> oh, dude. <gee, gee. laughs> <laughs> so in the morning, we took the train into the town of actual Zermatt, and this is probably my favorite ski town now. It's so cool. It gives off like some Harry Potter vibes. We walked across the town to get to the long gondola and enjoyed our first views of Matterhorn Peak. And also this town is expensive. I mean, look at their police cars. Yes, no gas cars allowed, only electric taxis and trucks. Nothing like... Bacon and cigarettes. Wow. Look at that thing, dude. Peeking. It's, a, it's another Hogwarts reference here, the, the uh, sorting hat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. I think Slytherin is good for you. Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin. Gryffindor! <laughs> You have to speak very, very clearly, okay, Harry? Diagonally. All right, give it a go. Diagonally. <laughs> Did he just say diagonally? Diagonally. Look at that. That's a cool building right there. They like took over the falling cabin and made a modern building out of it. Style points. That is cool. Points of style granted. Oh, look at these beads, these eyes. Look at these guys. Just having fun. Just like us. Swiss otters. Diagonally. Diagonally. I wonder if we can hit up this big old church. Jesus Christ, though. Could be cool, though. Oh, dude. There's a big boy. The same horn. That statue. Oh, oh my God. Put that on your head.
From the car to the top of the mountain took us quite some time. This was the longest gondola I've ever been on with a couple changes too, but the views at the top were bonkers. I mean, look at Matterhorn Peak. At the top, it was pretty busy uh, for our trip at least so far, but the runs were so wide and big, but honestly, it wasn't really our cup of tea. Just flat runs, no fun features to have fun on. Little stuff here and there, but mostly just groomed runs. So we were tired and we tried to get off the mountain, which was confusing, of course, in Europe. After three hours, we're finally on the mountain. Joe's tuckered out. We got insane views and it's the busiest resort we've been to in Europe but it's also fucking massive We made our way back to town to another gondola because this resort is massive and is basically split into three sections. The next area we found we were actually excited about. Found some good snow with cool features. The runs were a little icy at the end of the day, but finishing the day with some fondue, plenty of drinks in town of Zermatt, which was so much fun, very cool to hang out and quiet, but also a little expensive. <laughs> That was sick.
do it. Yeah, you're making a mess, man. Come on. So we had parked in a paid parking lot outside of town, and the guy told us we weren't allowed to sleep in the van. So we snuck in late after drinking in town and woke up early to get back on the slopes with no problems, hoping that he wouldn't be there after and before. He has a camera. Yeah. But does he check it? We'll see. Hopefully this guy doesn't come yell at us for sleeping his, in his parking lot. We had high hopes for day two. First runs were fun, found some cool stuff, including this little pillow. To those of you who don't know, a pillow is basically accumulated snow on top of a rock that looks like a big pillow. We all did laps on this and hit this pillow until it was basically done for. I'm sorry, Hyde Park. <laughs> Zermatt it was kind of disappointing yesterday. We're on a different part of the mountain and it looks a lot better. So let's see what it's going to be. See some good terrain. Yeah. Let's see if we can catch it. Looks fucking cool. I hope the powder's good. I hope the snow's good. I hope the Joe's good. I hope the Stroh's good. Amen. It's so fluffy. Yeah. 
Nice! <laughs> So what we found next was basically a dream come true. Pillows, powder, I and mean, just just watch. my line. I'm just gonna go that way. Good. <laughs> I, I, hit that. I just hear flat. <laughs> Stoke is high. Let's go. <laughs> oh, almost had it.
It's a big boy. Nice! This is insane. So we can head straight down left. Because there's the kitty kitty playground. You're saying over here? Yeah, far left. No doubt. Lead the way. Dude, the stoke is high, boy. Oh. Wait, somebody hit this pillow! Joe, come here! Boy. Oh, yeah, hit it. Oh! Jeez, 
Oh, bro. <laughs> dude, Joe, that was sick. Damn, dude. This guy's getting the hang of it. Oh my god. And he's hanging 10. Dude. After a very full day of riding, probably the best riding of my entire life, we got some food in town and headed to France next. If you like this video, follow along for the next part, and I'll see you around. All these rippers. <laughs> oh, Fucking school just let yeah. out. <laughs> they teach him to ski around here before they teach him regular type. First, you learn how to ski. Second, right. you learn how. And you suck. No, second, you learn how to dig a tunnel through a fucking mountain. Third, <laughs> you learn how. Left it on the mountain. Yes, big time, dude. Tore it up. Small time, woman. Oh, Zermatt was sweet. Cleaning up the van and heading to France. Chamonix. 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 It's just hard to get. There he is. There's two of them. There's three of them. <laughs> yeah, we're in mountain goat territory. There's a whole gang. They're like, what the fuck are these fucking idiots doing over here? 